Hey everyone, um, I wanted to just run through real quickly um, the process of setting up a dashboard. Um, we've looked at spreadsheets, or sheets actually, in Tableau, and when you first attach to a data source, whether it be a Excel spreadsheet or a text file or even like an, an Oracle database, um, you'll see all your fields of course over here on the left hand side and you can drag them to the various regions and create whatever spreadsheets you want. You can also create multiple spreadsheets. So what I've done is I've used the data set that we've been working with, which is the Superstore data set, and I've created three spreadsheets. The first one I created was Sales by Region, and that's when you're looking at here. We've got Central, East, South, and West, and those are the regions. And what I did is drug sales over um, for my columns, and rows was region, and it gives me a two-dimensional representation. I was also able to rename Sales by Region by going and right-clicking, and then I could click Rename Sheet and give it a name. Otherwise, it will be called Sheet 1. Then I moved on to the next one, the other view I wanted to see, and I wanted to be able to look at Profits by Item. Actually, this is Profits by Category, so I'm going to fix it because it's got a bit of a problem. Um, but anyway, I drag over Category, and then the rows were the sum of the profits, and then I colorized it using Profit by dragging Profit over and dropping it on Color. Problem is, is the name is wrong, so I'm going to go ahead and rename it. Go up to Rename Sheet, and instead of it being Profits by Item, it's going to be by Category, which I'm going to abbreviate by CAT, just for space purposes. My third sheet that I created was Sales by State, and we've done that one already before as well. So I created, you know, Sum of Sales and State, colorized it by State, and then put in the Longitude and Latitude um, in here so that it would generate my U.S. map. And that's great as well. If I wanted to do one more, all I have to do is come over here to this little icon here for New Worksheet, and I can continue to create as many worksheets as I want. And these can all be related to the actual file that I have, my Superstore file, and they can start to come together to create sort of a dashboard or a picture of what it is I want to convey. The next item over is how to create a dashboard, right? So if I want to create a new dashboard, I can click that icon. I can bring these three spreadsheets or these three worksheets together and put them into a dashboard. So if I click that, what it does is it says, okay, you're going to create a new dashboard. Here are your sheets over here on the left hand side. I've got my sales by region, my profits by category, and my sales by state. And I can start moving these over and adding them to my dashboard. There's sales by region added to the dashboard. There's profits by category also added to the dashboard. And now I want my sales by state. And I can put that in the dashboard. And I can move these around however I want. I can size them however I want. I can make them, you know, drag, up, drag this one down. Um, that one's actually too big now. So I want to make it smaller. Uh, but anyway, I can manipulate them however I want. And it allows me then to show a single presentation. I can show the single presentation to whoever I want to show it to. And they can look at the profits by category. They can look at the profits or the sales by state, colorized by state and they can look at the sales by region. And instead of just showing one spreadsheet or one worksheet, it shows me three. And that's great because it packs a lot of information into one presentation. Um, again, I'm going to want to be careful about how I arrange this, and you can manipulate that however you want. The nice thing about uh, dashboards is that dashboards can be connected to, in this case, a static text file just like I've got so that the data isn't going to change in my static text file. It still gives me the advantage of showing three different levels of information all on the same dashboard. Where the real power of a dashboard comes in is when you're connecting to a more dynamic, frequently updated data source. It may be updated every day, or maybe updated every hour, or maybe real-time updated. And in that case, you'd be able to pull this dashboard up and it would connect up to a database or whatever, and you'd be able to see to the minute or to the day or however frequently it's updated, um, current information. And that's the real power of a dashboard. The real power of a dashboard allows us to really use that tool to be able to sort of track current information. If our Superstore spreadsheet was getting updated every week or every day, all we have to do is keep this format, keep this dashboard, and then just update our data source each time. It will automatically update everything and we'll be able to see the, the numbers exactly as we want it. So for the rest of this quarter, what I want you to do is I want you to think about a dashboard. I'm going to give you a data set from the American Community Survey. Um, and if I can't find that one, I'll give you a different data set. But I want you to go through that data set. I want you to attach it to Tableau. And then I want you to start playing with the categories and seeing what you can create and what kind of story you can start to tell with the Tableau tool 
and the data source that I've given you. Okay, if you have any questions, you can always catch me by email.